Bali should have ignored ECL. Mlao Vafendaranda, Bali should have ignored ECL. You see, ECL lost by one million votes. One million. That would break any man losing by that margin. Mlao Vafendaranda. And then on top of that, during inauguration, he was booed by a 65,000 capacitor stadium. Do you understand what that would do to your psyche? We've seen football players booed Mustedia Mukuni Lasso. You've watched. He even got frustrated and said, Now, Fideke Fiamma politics have retired. He started living as a retiree. Bali Manaka Garden. He was busy just watering his vegetables. He even lost weight because he was thinking, like, how, how do I lose by that margin? Do the Zambian people hate me this much? That will break you. He even fell sick, if you remember. That was depression. That's how badly ECL was defeated. But Bali went and started beating a dead horse. He started poking at the bear, which is already dead. When Zambians moved on, because Zambians, every time we change an administration, we forget. UNIP, we forgot. MMD, we forgot. PF, we were supposed to forget. The Zambians actually did forget about PF. We all believed that PF is dead and gone. ECL, never coming back. But Bali raised ECL from the ashes like a phoenix himself. Every time Bali stood on the podium with a mic, eh, the previous regime, eh, Lungu did Chakuti, eh, Lungu Shan, people were just like, bro, let it go. It's like me all the time complaining about my ex. There will come a time the people I'm complaining to will start to think, ah, maybe your ex wasn't the problem. Mm, maybe he ends the and D. Wait. That's what happens. Never give any platform. Never shine a light on your enemies. Pretend like they don't exist. That's it. It's like me dissing Jay-Z right now. My song blows up. Then I respond. Then he responds. You know what you do? You add relevance to me. But if he wants to kill my momentum, he doesn't have to reply. He will just act like he's never listened to the song. If asked, you even be like, I don't even know who that person is. That's what Bali was supposed to do. But guess what? He kept on poking at the bear, poking at the bear. He lost focus. It was now an issue of making sure the PF is to issue what he was expecting. If everybody who was part of PF should cease from existence. He never stopped talking about them. Zambians asked him way, but President, well, have any cover PF, you are the one in charge now. But no, he couldn't let it go. He couldn't let it go. Reason? Don't know. I don't know why he couldn't let it go. Now, Lungu, since he was being kept relevant by Bali himself, he was being kept relevant. Then people now started piecing the puzzles together. They started now comparing you with your enemy. Remember, people always compare you to the people they believe is your arch enemy. Who's better? They'll always Messi Ronaldo. Ronaldo versus Messi. They'll always do that. Now, we are in a situation where people are like, okay, Lungu, his administration, they were thieves, they were shown, whatever you call them. But let us look at the, 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 the stats on the paper. Let's look at the economy. Let's look at the currency, the inflation. Let's look at the energy sector. Let's look at infrastructure. Now people start to think like, hmm, are we in a bad place? Are we in a better place like Bali had promised? Why? He made his competitors relevant to a point that people now say comparing them. But had Bali just acted like PF never existed and just focused on his work and fulfilling his promises, believe me, ECL would have not had the courage and the confidence to come back. Do you know why he has had the confidence? Because Bali has given him the platform. ECL has smelt the weakness. He smelt the blood in the water. He's just, I smell weakness. And guess what? There is weakness. Because it all started from Bali failing to let go. That was the first step he made to show weakness. Now look at ECL with his chest puffed up. Look at now the Constitutional Court. A mess, because UPND is now running, doing all they can to make sure this guy doesn't stand. Because guess what? The villain that you fought, the villain you defeated, has come back bigger and stronger. And this time, with support. Why? Because the hero showed weakness. 
I don't know, maybe Bali thought to himself, ah, 2026 will be boring. I won't even have some serious competition. I mean, what's the point of being a hero when there is no villain? So let me resurrect my villain so that I can have a nice showdown in 2026. Maybe I can beat him again round two. Well, that's a very risky thing to do. Otherwise, this is the ghost. It has come to haunt them back. All they had to do was just let go. The question is, are they ready to fight this ghost? Don't know. Nende randa kofi.